Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, the moment I have all been waiting for is finally here. I've seen this movie four times before, and finally I can review it. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, finally it is time to review Deadpool. So, without further ado, Let's get into it! So, Reed Wilson, played by Ryan Reynolds, is a former Special Forces operative who now works as a mercenary. His world comes crashing down when evil scientist Ajax, played by Ed Screen, tor tortures, disfigures, and transforms him into Deadpool. The rogue experiment leave leaves Deadpool with accelerated healing powers and a twisted sense of humor, which help w with help from mutant allies Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Played by Rihanna Hildebrand. I, I pro, uh, apologies if I pronounced that wrong. Deadpool uses his new skills to hunt down the man who nearly destroyed his life. <clears throat> so, now, let's dig into my actual thoughts on the movie. First off, this movie is amazing. At the time, I hadn't even seen a comic book movie this good since movies like Captain America Civil War or The Dark Knight. The characters in the movie are just perfect and are pretty much almost like almost like identical twins to their comic book counterparts. One standout in particular was Stefan Kakapik... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. As Colossus. Not only did the computer generated animation that was used to animate him look amazing, but his character I found him to be very likable and as a whole as a whole and even one of the funniest and his performance as Colossus is pr is brilliant. I also really enjoy TJ Miller as Weasel in this movie. In this movie, he 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 came off as very very funny and um he he uh, an entertainer and I always found myself smiling whenever he was on screen. He's probably the best use of comic re relief w relief I've ever seen on in any movie. T I'm going to be honest. So, Brianna Hildebrand is also brilliant in this movie as Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Although, like Colossus, she wasn't in the film much, she was still very enjoyable on screen, and like a lot of the characters here, really funny. However, the best character, in my opinion, at, in my opinion, is Deadpool himself. He's, he's done in, he, he's, I've never seen a better version of Deadpool on screen ever, to be honest. Ultimate Spider-Man, they, they kind of messed up his storyline and that, and he's appeared in a few cartoons, I think. But Deadpool was just perfect in this movie. He, w he I never stopped laughing whenever he was on screen. He broke the fourth wall in the most perfect way possible. And Ryan Reynolds' performance is just amazing. I was cracking up with laughter whenever... Deadpool even spoke. That's how funny the character even is, and they, the backs, the the origin story is done perfectly in my opinion. And I dare say the suit itself is by far the most comic book accurate superhero costume I've seen and seen on screen. I also really like Marina ba Bakirin, Bakirin. Her performance was pretty good throughout the movie, and she and Ryan Reynolds have a great chemistry together. In fact, I'd quite rightly say that the romance is the strongest aspect of the movie. Yes, it's done in countless other movies, but in this movie, this movie takes it to a point where you can actually care about the care, care about the romance. Where whereas in some comic movies like Avengers: Age of Ultron, I like that movie. Don't get me wrong, but that movie pretty much shoehorned the <coughs> the romance it, the romance between uh, the Hulk and Scarlett Johansson in there. And it wasn't handled very well. Where, whereas in this film, the the romance is handled fantastically. The fact that this this isn't just any superhero movie is just amazing. Why do you ask? Well, let me explain. You see, the film is largely a romance, which, like I said earlier, is one of the best parts of the movie. It also uses elements of horror, which I also appreciate. But it's also a revenge, a revenge story as well, and that part of the, the story is also brilliantly handled. The motivations were very clear, and there was not one time where I asked, "Wait, why? Why is he or or she doing this? Why, why are you doing this?" Because I didn't need to. I really enjoyed Ed Screen as Ajax. He came off as a really entertaining villain, and like I said, his motivations were so very clear. He may have have a few issues. 
but that can be easily forgiven as this is a movie mainly about Deadpool himself, which is kind of what it needs to be, and thankfully it does that perfectly as well. This is definitely the funniest movie I've ever seen. The jokes are some of are some are some imaginative jokes, really, and pretty much every single joke managed to land perfectly. The fourth wall breaks in this movie are amazing. Deadpool literally know, knows he's in a movie. That's probably one of the best parts, and and just and that just added a great deal to the comedy in this mo in this movie. And the countless movie references and jabs at Ryan, at Reynolds's past failures, like Green Lantern and Origins Wolverine, just nailed it. So finally, the action. It's brilliant. The action in this movie is phenomenal. My personal favorite being the counting bullet scene. It was brilliantly crafted and it captured everything that made Deadpool such a great character, as well as being entertaining. <clears throat> and and each sequence is filmed with these incredibly well shot wide shots that instead of instead of that terrible shaky cam thing a lot of the other movies are going on like you because of these wide shots you can see everything that's going on there's not one scene where the camera actually shakes you can actually see what's happening in the action which is just incredible in my opinion and and well and the the choreography in this movie is also fantastic and particularly whenever Deadpool uses his katana swords those scenes were just as brilliant the and that added with the more gory and graphic scenes make the action even more awesome in my opinion and yes like i said before this is a very comic book accurate movie the way Colossus looks to the X-Men suits and the Deadpool suit for that matter, the origin story, characters, everything. I also really like the film's message that looks on everything, and yeah, they're really not, trust me. And how the only thing that counts is what you're willing to do for that person, and how you feel about that person. So, yeah, Deadpool is a very gleefully entertaining, entertaining very funny, and amazing comic book movie. There is admittedly... This is admittedly my favorite comic book movie of all time, but it's not just a great comic book movie, but a great movie in general. This movie is flawless and directed Tim Miller and star Ryan Reynolds sure as heck show how this stuff is done. So, guys, thank you for watching my review of Deadpool. This is a, mo a movie I've been wanting to review for ages upon ages, and I and finally I get to review it and... Yeah, I did. I enjoyed putting the script together, and yeah. Also, uh, th last I checked, I had thirty-five subscribers. To those of you who um subscribed, please seriously, thank you guys. Uh, you motivated me, and you. I mean, you kind of motivated me to make this video as well. I mean, seriously, I've been wanting to d review Deadpool since it came out, and. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook. So, I will indeed see you guys in the future. Goodbye, guys.